we're going to drag in a uh, blue image, as you can see, light blue. It's that's a gradient, that's the name. So we're going to just spread this over the entire photo, as you can see. Then we're going to click on the check mark. Then we're going to change the compositing mode of uh, the blue layer. So we're going to go to, as you can see, it says normal. <laughs> What is happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make your pictures look cinematic. So as you can see right now, I have a picture of an animal right here and I'm going to show you guys how to make them actually look cinematic. So make sure to smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button down below for more videos every single day. So I would say with that being said, let's get started. So as you can see right now, I have this picture right here in Photoshop CC 2017 and we're going to edit this video, I mean we're going to edit this picture picture so that it looks cinematic so as you can see when we look at it it is not really that you know um, like it doesn't have that much contrast so what we're gonna do first of all is we are going to go to uh, image we're gonna pick adjustments and we're gonna go to uh, brightness and contrast now you don't want to mess around with the brightness as you can see it's gonna only just make it worse we are keep it on zero but we're gonna bring up the contrast quite a bit so if you as you guys can see right now there's a pretty big difference uh, between this and that as you can see so it looks really great I'm just going to place it right here so this is the difference as you can see it looks really good so we're gonna click on OK and now we have a brightness and contrast applied to it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to image adjustments and we're gonna pick hue and saturation now we're gonna also bring up the saturation quite a lot well not really that much because it's only going to look worse but let's say that we're going to place it uh, on plus 43 as you can see now the lightness you just want to keep that on zero because you're not well you can mess around a little bit with it but I'm gonna prefer uh, I'll prefer to keep it on zero <coughs> alright guys Sorry for that, but as you can see, the saturation is on plus 43, and we're gonna stay away from the hue uh, whatsoever because we're gonna only make it look really weird. Now, you're probably thinking, dude, that thumbnail that you used is kind of clickbait. Well, not really, guys. I mean, we're gonna go and we are going to um, click on OK. We're gonna drag in a uh, blue image as you can see light blue it's that's a gradient that's the name so we're gonna just spread this over the entire photo as you can see then we click click on the check mark then we're gonna change the compositing mode of uh, the blue layer so we're gonna go to as you can see it says normal we're gonna browse with our uh, arrows down until it looks really cinematic so this looks freaking amazing as you can see but it's a little bit too much uh, this one looks also very great and you could change colors obviously but I would say this looks freaking amazing guys so we went from this to this as you can see so now this bear I think it is looks really great and that is how to do it this is how you make your images look like like cinematic it with just a few t uh, tips you can also uh, ch keep changing it maybe you like this more instead of this one as you can see so this is how to do it guys and this is how I made the thumbnail as well so we have so many different uh, presets and modes we can use the blue and obviously if you say like dude I think the blue is not really that nice what you can do is you can go to image and you can change the hue saturation of the blue layer you can make it green we can make it yellow you can make it dark uh, well brownish we can make it blue purple pink as you can see orange we have so many different things so this is how to do it guys that's how to create an image that looks very cinematic so i want to thank you for watching make sure to smash the like button and also the subscribe button down below like i said at the beginning of this video so i want to thank you for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new vegas 14 tutorial as always on wednesday so thank you for the support and i'll see you guys tomorrow just alex helford